So right now I'm into my Visual Studio Code and you can have the same option available inside of Cursor as well. But majority of the Salesforce developer use Visual Studio Code. So I want to explain the agent force for developers through VS Code. Okay. So on the left hand side, you see this picture of a cartoon here. If you click on that, this is where your agent force for developer is. If you want to move this onto the right, you can all you need to do is just drag it and move it next to the chat and chat is basically your Einstein Copilot embedded inside of VS Code, but now you have a proper dev assistant who can do the work for you. And here you can uh, also enable your MCP servers and uh, by enabling your MCP server, you click on it and it will give you a the gear icon. Click on that gear icon here and click on configure MCP server. It will open up the uh, MCP JSON file and you can update the MCP.json file that I have given to you. Restart the VS code and you will have Salesforce DX configured. Okay. So I already have my MCP JSON copied here. So I'm going to just do control S and uh, save it. And we are going to go ahead and hit done here. And then I'm going to go and restart my uh, VS code. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and close it and open up my Visual Studio code. And let's see if this uh, Salesforce DX MCP has been enabled or not. Okay. Mm -hmm.